morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Pajama Diaries. And we are outside again with the kind of gray and eh, kind of day. It's been on and off like this for the past couple of weeks, I think. I think. A couple of weeks. Now, for those of you that tell me not to complain about the weather, if I could find a way to shove this in your direction, I'm sure you'd be happy. And I would be too, because that would mean more walkabouts and more adventures and things like that. Um, if you guys follow me on my Twitter, I did do a walkabout. I went to the mall and back, walked almost five miles, according to the step counter on my phone. Um, I did a little adventure. Had, I had some fun. I'm going to probably wind up doing more of those in the future. Uh, found a store that I didn't think existed anymore. It's a video store where you can actually trade in movies and... They had a grab bag and stuff, so I'm going to probably wind up taking screen caps of all of those tweets from Saturday and making a walkabout video um, so you guys can, you know, see all the pictures and they'll all be in one place without you having to scroll down my timeline. They'll be there, captions and all, because I did put some captions to them. Some of those were ridiculous. Um, Sunday, let's see, no, that was Friday, that was Friday. Saturday, Sara Lee came over for breakfast. We went to the store to pick up a few things. I picked up a pots and pans set, um, which is here, I think. That's where it's going to be, the picture of it. And then I got asked on Twitter when I posted the picture if I had any cast iron. Um, we're on a tight budget this week. The guaranteed weekly pay is only if he makes on-time deliveries and pickups. And he admitted to me the previous week that he was half hour late for delivery because he was sleepy and took a half hour break to take a nap. I'd rather him take a nap and be late and us be short one week than, you know, him try and sleep or drive sleepy. So, uh, yeah, it's a short week this week, but we'll get by. Um, I got everything that I needed and um, it was about $59 for all the pieces that are in the picture. So I didn't think I did too bad. So uh, when you're on a tight budget, I go for quantity and quality and not just quality because one $15 cast iron skillet is not going to help me cook an entire meal. <laughs> I'm not used to cooking everything in one pan. So that and I stayed with a friend of mine for about 90 days who used cast iron and I'm not comfortable using cast iron because everything I cooked on it was sticking so I think I had the heat either too high or too low or too something I don't know I'm gonna have to look up how to cook on it because I didn't grow up in a household that used cast iron I grew up in a household that used conventional cookware so or a pressure cooker or a crock pot stuff like that so that's going to be a learning curve for me um, so the kitchen is finally shaping up to a kitchen that I like to use. It does have a full knife set now. It's got a set of cutting boards. It's got a cooking set. We actually have dishes. So now for the time being, I think the only thing left to order to make the kitchen a little bit more warmer and inviting is going to be a spice rack and a various array of spices so I can actually start experimenting again in the kitchen with different dishes and running down the recipes that I come up with and uh, finding recipes on the internet so when I get everything set up and start doing my cooking videos I'm going to do some you know homemade dishes as well as did this work where you guys get to send me recipes that you find on the internet that I cook for the videos switching hands because my left hand is my left arm is going numb or something I don't know um, so yeah I'm going to have my own uh, recipes. I'm going to do Cuban recipes as well because, well, you know, Cuban and <laughs> frizz. Um, and I'm also going to be going to allrecipes.com and sites like Epicurious and thefoodnetwork.com, pulling recipes off of there, trying recipes to see how they come out, see if I can do them, um, and um, how they work out in the end. But in order to do that, I need to get camera setups and lighting and stuff in the kitchen as well as, you know, all the memory and stuff for the laptop, which is coming. It's just not this week because we're a little short financially, but that's all right. 
For those of you that are worried, I have plenty of food to last till he gets paid next time, and then some. I made sure of that before I bought the cook set. And so, uh, yeah, we're okay that way. So the next few things that we're going to be working on for the house, the wish list is below if you want to contribute to the housewarming. Um, we're going to move and start setting stuff up in the office. So that's a desk, a desk chair, hopefully a gaming chair. Um, let's see, a surge protector. We don't have one yet, so every time I hear thunder, I unplug the laptop, and I'm not online for a while because, you know, no surge protector and thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Woo. Um, so yeah, and then we've got lamps that's got to go in the office, and I'm thinking of getting a partition wall for the office so half of it can actually be an office and the other half can have a futon where people can come and stay and hang out, stay the night if they need to, and so on and so forth. So we're still planning on that. There will be a green screen in the office because I'm still planning on doing green screen stuff when I finish finalizing uh, Victoria's um, outfit, her costume. So all that's got to get done too. Today is going to be waiting on the final thing that I ordered from Amazon last week, which is tea tree or essential oil. That's going to be the last thing coming in. Um, today for this channel, I'm going to be focusing on watching the episodes from Star Blazers and breaking down the episodes to do a little synopsis and stuff. So it's going to be more than one part for Star Blazers. Just like it's going to be more than one part for Ultron for the It Came From Netflix. i got to find somebody to do that title for me. That's going to be fun. Uh, so, yeah. That's what's going on. That's what happened over the weekend. So, um, uh, I hope the fourth was with you and you were able to avoid the revenge of the fifth. Uh, we are now in May 6th. Good Lord, we're already in the fifth month of the year. Lord, time flies. I don't know if it feels like it goes faster the older you get or if it just goes faster the further on in the year it goes oh yeah irate prostate that's the name of the channel he did an interview with me yesterday so guys go check that out um it was a pretty chill and relaxed kind of interview kind of had fun with it so uh yeah go check that out um and uh, see you in the next diary We've got a special man in the audience today right now. It's Mr. Leo. He's a fashion consultant for the Army. But well, thank you, Agent. I'm just very happy to be here. I want to tell you something. You know, this whole camouflage thing for me doesn't work very well. Why is that? Well, because you go in the jungle, I can't see you. <laughs> you know, it's like wearing stripes and plaid. It's for me, I want to do something different. You know, you go in the jungle, make a statement. If you're going to fight, clash.